In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clone the contents of your old hard drive to a new solid state drive. This is especially useful when replacing an old hard drive in a laptop or desktop computer, and the only hardware you'll need for this is one of these SSD to USB adapters. I'll have the link to this on Amazon in the description down below. So the first thing you want to do is head to the link in the video description to download the EaseUS software, which is the easiest and freest way to clone your drive. So you can just ignore all these annoying pop-ups and type some random email in the email box. Uh, you know, it's free, they gotta do what they gotta do. But once you get through all this, you should be able to download and open the program. Once you get it open, you can just click Install Now to begin the installation of the program. Once you ignore all their annoying free trial stuff, you can finally get into the program. So here's, here's the main program here. So you want to click on this little button in the lower left corner, and that's what's going to allow you to clone your drive. Now, or you could have done this earlier if you wanted to, you can plug your new SSD into that SSD to USB adapter. So you want to plug those golden fingers into the SATA end, and then you can plug the included USB cable, the micro USB end into the adapter, and the full size USB into your computer. At this point, you may have to format your new drive before you can actually clone to it, or at least create a new partition on it. So in order to do that, you're just going to open up the Windows Start menu, and you can navigate to the Partition Manager. Then it should pop up right away with a message informing you that you have to partition your drive before you can use it. So all you have to do is click OK, and that'll handle the rest of the work for you. Now you can switch back to the EaseUS program to get back to cloning. So once again, click that little clone icon in the lower left hand corner. Now select the partitions that you want to clone. You'll probably want to copy all of them, so I'm just going to select them all. And then on the bottom, you'll click the drive to which you want to clone them, which in this case is your new solid state drive. Here you can see an overview of what's going to happen when you complete the operation. So then you can just click proceed to go ahead with the clone. You can expect the cloning process to take a while. So this could take upwards of a half hour or even multiple hours if you have lots of space used up on your computer. So go get a snack or something to come back. So once it's finished copying all the files, you are good to go and you now have a complete copy of your current hard drive on your new SSD. So that's all for this video. If you want to see how to actually install the SSD and replace your old hard drive, you can check out this other video where I show you how to do just that on this Dell Inspiron laptop. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comments section. Uh, the links to all the products and information and software I use in this video will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.